Hey guys, Justin here, and welcome back to another episode of Gravy Chuck. Not Gravy Chuck. Order up to go El Fuego. On to day two here, and we will call Ned for this one because we will be serving the foot critic. So maybe we can get a Ned bonus for the foot critic to just pay me hard. So still forty dollars. So doesn't doesn't increase for Ned every time it's forty. Oh, we got a chicken bonus. That's completely. Oh, we got nothing. Wow, that's pretty troll. Chicken bonus doesn't work here. There's nothing. Basically, the best upgrade for this restaurant is the vegetable upgrade. The second one is the cheese upgrade because there's so many cheese in this game. All right, that's a waste. So we buy the burritos here. Two hundred twenty-five. It's time to get visited by the food critic. Still, Sir Edmund Waddleberry. There's no difference in the food critic. There's only one food critic in this world, which is Waddleberry. So, we'll be making the Tarkum and we'll start to a lot of As the food critic, the pen indeed is mightier than the sword, or the chef's knife, in any case. Alright, so here we go. Welcome, welcome, it's a joy to see your Give face. me your so-called special. This is for the people's at table 10. Now. You know there's tortilla for the to the tacos, but you don't need to make the tortillas because <laughs> that's too many work. That's too much work. No Cecile, just make everything on my own. The guacamole is so easy, so I'm just gonna leave that till the end. We'll mash it a little bit. Now on to the uh, the uh, one of the worst uh, scenario for cooking and using of ingredients in the restaurants. We'll be using canned food. Yes. <laughs> We will actually be using a lot of canned food in upcoming restaurants, so this is not very good because we should be using fresh ingredients instead of using canned food. So here's the canned cook right there. They don't need to cook a can of bean soup or something like that. Let's just grate. It's easy to grate. So we do the sauté together. This is the meat seeds, and we're using different types of pan. So but this pan actually doesn't heat up that fast as the uh, gravy cook pan. Basically, you actually don't even need to flip if you want to do it, but I just flip one time. And the flipping style is also different. They use the steel ice, the cast iron pan. You have to do the cook. Leave the dice for the last step. The dice is easiest, so do it lastly. The last step. Now, that cook actually cooks very fast, so that's why I actually do want to get it right now. That's how it works. And now, one dish done, two frost, one draws, tacos out. See, see, this looks very, very good. Two dice here. Guacamole out. This and we need to fold the burritos, which is tough to grab the item, draw as indicated. As you fold it. Very easy, you can see the, the arrows there. Which is just one diagonally left, up, one left, and one right. Very easy. So one up, two, three. Done. I am on it. That's how you make all of the dishes. Very easy to do. And let's see how much we get. Meals like that make uh, me almost got back up to where I can actually get my regards. money back. This is a if I get a net bonus, I probably can get my money customer. back. An probably maybe the, uh, thing these days. the cheese upgrade, I can probably get it back. Nice. Critic sings the praises of the chef's excellent food. Chef sings the praises of being way richer. Richer. Uh, Justin not praised for the amount of ads popped up in this game. <laughs> That's a short one. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode for another recipe. I hope to run out things so I can show you guys that recipe. Which is an un unpopular one. Nachos. So I'll buy it next time. I'll do Farmer's Market off screen. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace!